Attack. Have you guys ever seen the like uh the like the really old shitty cartoon of them. Mario where yeah. he has like the most like gruff voice ever? It takes yes. all colors to make a rainbow oh. Luigi, except that one. <laughs> <laughs> My memes are ironic. My depression is chronic. <laughs> oh my god. Where are they? Where? Where is she dent? I like for I In this video is so raw, I'm not even wearing a shirt. This v-neck undershirt does not count as a shirt, and there's not even sculpting clay in my hair. I'm about as default as I can be. I'm like the IRL version of Recruit right now, who, by the way, is an enigma to me in more ways than one. Because one single Recruit, all on his own, completely innocuous and unthreatening. Like, I just see a moron FNG that couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with a rocket launcher. But if you put five Recruits together on the same team... <laughs> Tyrannical, abusive sociopaths that appear to achieve victory against any opponent. Hostile, salty tears detected. Not to mention the fact that an endgame screen full of recruits is about as petrifying as endgame screens can be. God damn, that recruit with the, the magnet pistol is fucking really confident. By the way, this right here, it needs to stop. Fire mixtape about to drop. Oh look, there's a stationary group of people that all look pretty menacing. I'm gonna say they're about to drop the hottest mixtape of insert year here. Just stop it. Get some help. I'd be willing to wager that I'm the biggest shit poster in the entire Rainbow Six Siege fan base on YouTube, and this is not funny. It wasn't funny when it was relevant, it's not funny now, it's never gonna be funny in the future, so just make it stop. I've also been playing excessive amounts of Rook lately, or whatever you happen to call him. Rook, Rookie, Rookie the Cookie. I guess now that he has that new Buzz Lightyear skin, you can call him whatever you want. We meet again, Buzz Lightyear. For the last time. In case you haven't seen the endgame MVP animation, it's definitely superior to both Thermite and Sledge. To infinity and beyond! As an added bonus, the armor plates that you set down even have a meme reference. Uh, there was this Reddit post of a uh, guy that got team killed. And then uh, he asked him, why did you team kill me? And he just re replied with Rook Mine, and now everyone's... I know including a meme reference on a skin is basically the equivalent of Ubisoft saying how do you do fellow kids, but trust me, it's there. Two things I've caught on to while using Rook are number one, using an ACOG on defense is borderline cheating, and yeah, I'm looking at you, Jaeger mains. Dropped him. Well, I think Jaeger might be a different story, because although he cheeses with an ACOG, he's also wearing jeans and has little to no armor, as opposed to Rook and Doc, who have access to an ACOG and are beefier than Hulk Hogan in his prime. Brother, 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 brother. Back to my point, number two, I finally understand the importance of headshots in Rainbow Six. Obviously, I knew that headshots were important, I just never knew they were that important. For the longest time, I thought that simply blasting rounds in the general direction of someone's head will often result in them catching one in the noodle and me winning the engagement. But I can say with great confidence now that the game rewards those that take the extra split second to precisely pick off a headshot instead of concentrated spraying everywhere. Friendly is victorious. Here's how I killed you! Bullets, 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 bullets! Then your head came off! But it's tricky because it sounds so simple like, hey, in every engagement, just pop the guy in the noodle and you win every time. So it sounds simple, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. It's almost like me saying to you, hey, how do I win the 100 meter dash in the Olympics? It's simple, just run faster than everybody else, but that doesn't mean that it's easy. Players of this game tend to confuse those terms and use them interchangeably, which is not correct. Especially when pro players play in casuals with novices, ooh, that's uh, kind of a disturbing sight to see. Why can't you just headshot the guy? I don't know, because I haven't been playing this thing for 1200 hours. <laughs> Slightly unrelated note, does anybody main Thatcher? I'm pretty sure that Thatcher mains don't exist. Unless you're just trying to be contrarian and trying to be different, fairly confident that Thatcher mains don't exist. At this point, I'm convinced that Ubisoft threw him in the game because they wanted to give someone a badass looking Tron skin and didn't want to get rid of fucking laser sights as an operator intro. GPS satellites, unmanned drones, fucking laser sights. Oh, the more <laughs> there, you there it is.
I mean, I think we all know that when it comes to disabling electronics, Mute can't be beat, especially once I learn that his real name is A.A. Ron. Well, you better be sick, dead, or mute. Hey, hey, Ron. On top of that, Mute is clearly a better dancer, so I think it's safe to say that you just disabled electronics in the wrong neighborhood. Another habit that I've been trying to improve, glossing over my excessive reloading, is constantly running through scenarios in my head and crafting theories about where the enemy is and how they might kill me, which typically ends with me losing focus and getting shot in the face. One friendly remaining. Pick the wrong time to theory craft, nerd! This is a public service announcement to please stop throwing C4 on my face at the start of every round, because I happen to run into plenty of you all playing casual, and it's some sort of micro badger meme that's spun out of control. Please don't detonate that, please. What the fuck? It got stuck on it. Jaeger, please get over here. I need it. I need a diffuse. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't. Just don't move. I would say cut the yellow wire, but there's two yellow wires. What, what wire? Yellow. It's the green wire, but there's no green wire. There's two yellows and a red. Just hit it. Just smash it. Smash it. Come on. Bump the fuse. Thank you. And in case you haven't done so already, which, let's be real, none of you have, don't forget your Valentine's Day skin while you still can. In case you haven't noticed, as soon as you log in, you see this in the bottom left corner, and all you need to do to get it is to activate the challenge and win five rounds as a defender. Yeah, you may think that having a pink gun makes it incredibly easy to spot and kill you, but I can't hear you over the sound of my consistent triple kills. And that's about it. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time when I plan on wearing a shirt.